Well, Friday is Earth Day, but Fox 35 is going to celebrate all week long. There is a farm in Seminole County that's creating quite a buzz with their efforts to help our wildlife. Fox 35's Allison Gargara was live this morning. She brought the thunder truck out to Oviedo to check this out. Oh, look at you. I was actually thinking that I was hoping you were going to put a bee suit on because I was worried you'd get stung. Hi, Allie. <laughs> Good morning and happy Earth Week. We want to see what all the buzz is about here at Black Hammocks Bee Farm. And I am with Dennis, the bee guy, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. And we're having so much fun. So behind me, there are about 40 to 50 bee colonies. Now, Dennis actually helps save bees in the wild. So can you tell me a little bit about that while we're hanging out with one of them? Yeah. So uh, sometimes customers will have bees move into their homes or their businesses and they're unwanted. So rather than having to destroy those bees, we will rescue and rehabilitate those bees and put them into honey production or pollination. So how many bees are we standing around right now? So there are probably about a million bees right here. So these are, this is our rescue yard where we rehabilitate the bees. And so these are going through a rehabilitation process where afterwards we will put them into a honey production yard or a pollination yard where they can help us make food. Awesome. And a ton of honey. They actually have a little shack with honey that I was able to see. So this is just one of the colonies. And Dennis was showing me there's a little area where potentially a new queen will be forming, which is exciting. So you love bees, obviously. How do they help the environment? multiple ways but the most important way to us is they help provide us with food so honeybees are exclusive pollinators meaning that the first time the bee flies out of the hive then she's going to visit a flower that's the only flower she'll ever be interested in so think of a strawberry farm she's going to go from one strawberry flower to another strawberry flower and to another and to another whereas all the regular pollinators they don't care what kind of flower they visit they'll go from one kind of flower to another kind of flower huh. so honeybees help us make food by pollinating and so the pollination process is very, very important. Very important. So obviously I'm not afraid to be around all these bees. We have this nice suit on, but it's really exciting because if you stick with us within the next hour, we actually have a group of kids that are going to be learning about bees as well. So happy Earth Week, Amy and Danielle. We're having a blast out here in Oviedo this morning. Okay, you're not afraid because uh, you get the bee suit on, but I can't believe he has no protection on. He's not nervous at all. I see a little smoke. I though. know they're saying, Dennis, no protection. Yeah, no, he's not afraid anymore. That's for sure. He's like, no, no, no. I got it. He does have a suit if need be, but I think we're safe out here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Dennis is brave. He knows what he's doing. He does. Yeah, he's an expert. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank